Something good gonna happen in this year And I am grateful that I made it here Yesterday's gone And girl, talking about life changing, like Girl Let's just see what's popping off at Home Goods, shall we? <laughs> she spoke to me. She spoke to me in the store. And I heard her call. I heard it. And I bought her. <laughs> I just get so tired sometimes of the rat race of social media. Hey family, welcome or welcome back to the channel and thank you ever so kindly for clicking on today's video. I am Talia. If you're here for the first time, welcome to the channel. And if you are an oldie but goodie, what's up girl? <laughs> today is Tuesday, February 26th. I'm out and about today. I have some errands to run. I have to go and get a couple of curtain rods. I have to get allergy medicine because, girl, the pollen already. Is it winter or is it spring? Like, what's going on? Which is it? Because, honey, my allergies are saying it is spring, okay, already. I'm going to go get some Claritin for me and some allergy medicine for Jalen because he suffers really bad during this time. And what else we have to do? I'm at the beauty supply store now. I have to get some concealer and some gel because my, my husband and I are going to New Orleans this weekend for my mom's birthday. And um, Chastity's gonna do my hair. So I need to get some, um, I think, Shining Jam for her to do my hair. And then what else? I have to go to CVS and get Christopher's uh, medicine for his seizures because that's important I have to go in Walmart I have a return and I need to go in Burlington my husband can't find his belt so I'm gonna um, see if I can get him a belt and my son Christopher I'm gonna get both of them a belt I just left Dan's car wash getting my membership for my new car <laughs> y'all this is what's so crazy is my other car was a Chevrolet Equinox, and this one is identical. Identical to the one I had. So I have another Chevrolet Equinox, pretty much the same car I had. The same car, which is crazy. Because in Georgia, honey, you need transportation. You need transport in Georgia, honey. Like, don't play. You need transport or you're stuck, right? So thank God we're back up and rolling again i'm waiting on the amazon delivery which is my phone holder for the car because i need to put my phone somewhere i'm waiting on some eye cream from good molecule for my um puffiness under my eyes i don't know if y'all watched my previous vlogs but i was saying that uh, i was dealing with wisdom tooth pain uh, which i still in my appointments tomorrow to try and get everything resolved but I was losing so much sleep over that that my eyes began to puff underneath because I couldn't sleep at night. I've been using uh, this lactate acid face cream called uh, Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. It has changed my life, y'all. I'm telling you, it has changed my life. I ended up with that face cream because I used to have a Ipsy subscription and I no longer have it, but I would get the full size bottles of things they would recommend and I never used it. And then I began to do my skincare because my face was just like super rashy. And I'm like, look, let me try this out. I didn't even research it. Like, <laughs> I didn't even research it. I just took it out of my makeup bag and I'm like, look, let me start using these products. I got all these Ipsy products and stuff. Let me use these products. And girl talking about life changing, like 
girl and then when i went on amazon and looked it up girl the bottle of good jean by sunday riley is 122 dollars for the bigger bottle and the reviews are crazy like people and i'm telling i see a stark difference in my skin uh even having my makeup on my makeup applies better using the cream and i've been using it for about three weeks maybe a month honey that's on that's that's gonna stay in the uh, skincare regimen so i just wanted to put y'all on to that also this past weekend we took the kids to kids empire to go and play I recorded a little bit with my phone I may uh, put that in and then uh, hubby and I and Christopher went to church on Sunday which was absolutely great it was so great to be in the house of the lord i'm telling you like when i go to church and i'm in the house of the lord i feel like a different person leaving i feel like i can conquer anything and deal with anything once i leave church and it was just so uh i was so happy to be back in church and then uh my husband and i we also went to um what's it called revel revel um breakfast cafe and we had um brunch and it was amazing as usual it's super cheap and the food is so good why is the food so good and so inexpensive and god think we spent like 38 dollars at revel and stuff and the food was so good oh girl the wind is blowing i hope my ponytail stay on i don't want to i don't want to get out the car and the wind blow my ponytail away but i'm pretty sure it's secure but i'm gonna go in here i just gotta get gel hair gel and can and uh some uh concealer so that's what I'm about to do, y'all. Y'all pray for me because today I am so tired. I am super duper tired. I have talked so long. Ooh, girl, I talked 15 minutes. I really appreciate y'all clicking on today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, right? And uh, I'll see y'all in a minute. So y'all, I'm in Home Goods because I still have my I still have my Valentine's coffee bar up, and I want to see what they have in here that um, I can put on my Easter coffee bar. I do have decoration from, from last year, but I'm trying to see what they have new, and we just want to see what Home Goods have. I haven't been here in a while, so let's just see what's popping off in Home Goods, shall we? <laughs> I wonder if I should get, look at some more coffee cups. My coffee cup collection is becoming ridiculous. But that don't mean I ain't gonna stop looking. Why does everything have to be Easter Bunny for Easter? You know, right? Easter is not about that. Easter is about Christ. So why is everything pertain to the Easter Bunny? I don't have anything against it, but but I saw this and I'm like, what is this for? Like, what do you use this for? I saw it and my mind began to churn, but I don't know what to use this for. It's definitely not going on the coffee bar because, yeah. Mm -mm. Am I the only one that comes in home good and I become overstimulated? It's so much stuff. You're bombarded with all this stuff. And for me, it's the coffee mugs. Don't don't do this to me. Don't. And the thing is, I have Easter coffee mugs. She's so cute. It's so cute. I'm gonna I'm just put it in there, you know, just to, just to see, just to weigh my options.
This is why I need to stay home. Hey, my purse, Chris. I made it back from running my errands. I didn't go to CVS because I'm gonna just call them in and have those refills automatically um, refilled. That prescription automatically refilled. I went to the beauty supply store. I went to Home Goods, spent some time in there, and I went to uh, uh, y'all. Did my package come? Oh no, it's still out for delivery. And went to uh. Dollar General and I stopped at McDonald's and got everybody some lunch and girl when I went to pay for it a lady in front of me paid for all my food like $27 and she paid for it so I passed that on to the car behind me even though they didn't say thank you you know what I'm saying I passed that on anyway because I mean what a blessing I still have my Valentine coffee bar up and I'm gonna show y'all that but these are some things that I bought. Where did I get this from? I think I bought these from Dollar General. But I got some Easter lollipop rings for the kids. I bought these two little Easter trees. I'm going to incorporate that either in the house decor or coffee bar. We'll see. I have this little felt banner. I really would have just liked flowers, but... Like everything in Home Goods, it's Easter, it's bunnies. And I have an Easter table cover, some Easter colored nails, if y'all can see. Conditioning caps. I needed some cotton rounds because I needed an astringent. And I have the, the Dickinson's Pour Perfecting Toner, Witch Hazel. So I got that for me, cause y'all I'm serious about my skincare, like serious. And I got some Suave Cocoa Butter and Cocoa Butter and Shea Body Wash, Allergy Relief, and tell I'm able to get some Claritin. I just got this, and I got this for Jalen, the children's all day allergy for indoor and outdoor allergies. What I got from Home Goods, y'all look. Some more. These are plastic. So freaking cute. Um, I don't know if the light is blurring them out, but they're $2.99 each. Cute. I take the coffee bar serious, y'all. So I got some Easter cups from Home Goods. Y'all, I'm sorry about the harsh ring light, but yeah. And those are the designs. And it comes with the, the lids. So yeah, that's going to the coffee bar. Salad spinner. This one was $9.99. My twin sister bought me one a while back, but we used it so much, she broke. Y'all, I showed y'all this in the store, but look. I got her. Anything coffee, anything, things that I love and I'm passionate about, it makes me excited, so. Super excited about this. She spoke to me. She spoke to me in the store. And I heard her call. I heard it. And I bought her. <laughs> and this was um, she was four ninety nine, four ninety nine. And I got this. This is glass. And the reason why I got this is because I think at the coffee bar I'm gonna put my glass straws in this one. I have a clear glass that I put it in, but I'm trying to make everything cohesive. And this was this was three ninety nine. Yeah. And then I can always use this to make iced coffee as well. Period. I mean, as y'all can see, I went a little crazy with the cups, but that's how I go. That's why my collection's so big, because I, I, I tend to go crazy with the cups, right? And then... <laughs> Carol, I'm still at it. I got this. It says ice... Is somebody calling me? Hold on. Where my phone at? And it says ice coffee, please. With the bamboo lid, the straw, 
and this was $6.99. I have a problem, y'all. I have a serious problem and no one can cure me from it. Like, it's not gonna happen. Nobody can help me but Jesus. And um, with all the things going on in the world, a coffee addiction, a coffee cup addiction, that's just what it is. Nobody's, no one can help me. Nobody. So that's everything from Home Goods, y'all. And this is what I got from the beauty supply store. Chastity is doing my hair in twists. I told you I was getting shining jam. And I was able to find my concealer. I always use this one, the Pro Girl, the Pro Girl Concealer in Toffee. I don't know if y'all can see that the light is so bright. I didn't even know this came in instant. But when I saw it in the store in Dollar General, I immediately got it. Cafe Bastillo, the Espresso Instant. Baby. What? And let me let me smell it. Let me smell it. Because I was going to smell it without y'all, but I am so intrigued. Safety seal. Make sure it got them safety seals, girl. Ooh. Y'all, we gotta try something. You know what it smell like? I was I was expecting to smell really strong espresso, like espresso, espresso. It smells like coffee, of course, but it, it has hints of like chocolate. It smells. Mm. I'm telling you, coffee and chocolate go so well together, girl. I'm like, girl, you've been living under a rock if you just found that out. But yeah, I'm gonna try some of this out with y'all. And we gonna make her either in this cup, okay? Or we gonna make her in this cup. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what the shenanigans bring. So yeah, my battery just died. I just changed that. But these are some, this is another coffee cup I ordered from Amazon. It's, it's a set. Um, I actually have one in my room I was using this morning and I posted it on Instagram. So she right here. That's another one that came with two straws and a cleaner. And I also, at some point, I'm going to get the Marc Jacobs, the tote bag. But I love their dupes on Amazon. I showed this in my anniversary uh, video. But I took that video down because it wasn't my best work. I wasn't really proud of it. I was sick. So I got home private. But I'm, I wanted to re-show y'all for the ones who haven't seen it. It's cream. And I have a, a black fabric one like it. And it has the short handles and it has the long handle. I'll be bringing her with me to New Orleans. And just my black um, Steve Madden um, puffy tote bag. Because I don't need a suitcase. We're not, we're only, we're leaving out Saturday morning and we're coming back. We're heading back home Monday morning. Yeah, that's the haul, y'all. That's the haul. I don't want to keep rambling, but I am so happy with, I am so happy with my girl this stuff makes me happy like i'm a simple woman you know what i'm saying this stuff makes me happy this is this is what keeps it's the little things so i just decided this year i'm gonna just start like taking care of myself and buying things for myself and being good to me because i'm good to everybody i'm good to everybody and it is really time for me to just start being good to myself and treating myself so that's what we're doing for 2024. CJ saying bye. Bye, CJ. Bye, Mama. Love you. Yeah, that was my son, CJ, in Las. He lives in Las Vegas now, and I'm not okay. I am not okay with him being here. I'm, I miss my son. I mean, don't get it twisted. I got a whole bunch of children left behind, but I only got one CJ. <laughs> so he and Louis, he uh in Las Vegas working and doing his thing and stuff but when you used to your kids being around you all the time it's kind of hard not having him here but he's, he's there for you know to better himself and stuff so we that's what we want for our children we want them to be happy and to better themselves so enough of that I digress before I start crying but um I'm about to show y'all the new chairs I got so I was on Amazon just researching some stuff and some chairs and something reliable, something that had great reviews. So I came upon these chairs that were, um, I think $78, $80, something like that, for four chairs. And I'm like, that is too good to be true, right? 
Um, so the chairs came yesterday and Chastity put three of them together and I put the last one together this morning. And honey, they are the best. I'm gonna show y'all. These are the chairs and they have a cushion to it. They have wooden legs. Let me show y'all underneath. Underneath. That's underneath. It's really supported. Got big booties. You know what I'm saying? We dense women. So we needed we needed a chair that could hold all of the undercarriage, you feel me? And I think these will suffice. Uh-huh. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Uh-huh. Ten out of ten. My husband drinking ginger beer. Let me see. It tastes like ginger. Oh my goodness. I'm putting this on the coffee bar. If it fits, if it don't fit, it's not going, but uh, it was like $6 at Burlington. So if it don't fit there, I'll find somewhere to put it. But look, it's so cute. And then the, the vase is kind of iridescent. Yeah, I think it's cute. Or I ain't buying nothing else for the coffee bar. But we did stop and get wings and Burlington had um, orange pepper. I was I was looking through that on that shelf to find that lime pepper, but I couldn't. But I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit on my chicken because we stopped at hibachi, and I got um I'm gonna kick Kiara's ass. I just got some regular chicken, fried chicken, and my husband got he got teriyaki wings and French fries, and I'm about to sprinkle. What's that? Oh, you got fried rice? I got, thought you got the french fries. I thought you were about to get some. I forgot. And the chicken's fresh too, like they just fried it. But, you want a little bit of that chicken wing. But, they good. Made of orange pepper, good. Do you want me to sprinkle some on your teriyaki? Come on. You to let me. Okay. It's delicious. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. This is really good. Babe, let me sprinkle some on your teriyaki. No, you want her? Huh? Moby for me. All right, y'all. Let me finish grubbing. I'm going to see y'all in a few. After I eat, we need to find the Easter decoration. I need to take all that stuff, the Valentine stuff off the coffee bar, redo that, and I need to cook dinner. I was gonna make a um, cheesy spaghetti, but I think we just had something like that not too long ago. So oh, um, we got something up in there. But yeah, I need to cook dinner. I might fry some fish. No. Well, then you go cook. Okay. What you gonna cook? Chicken. Ain't no chicken. Y'all didn't take anything out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she ate all her, her ramen. All right, y'all. I see y'all in a little bit. Here he is. Y'all, so I just, so I'm finished my wings. It is, what time it is, Kringle? 626. All right. Y'all, Jalen said it's 626 in the evening, and I'm about to try this espresso instant coffee. I haven't had hot coffee in a long time, and I'm using my cup from Home Goods. So let's see. I'm gonna make a big cup because I'm gonna get the rest of my husband. I have a lot of creamers, but I decided I decided, I decided the one I'm using is caramel macchiato because that's what I want to use. And ooh, that smells good. Put a little bit more. I like my coffee strong. Scrong, I see. Scrong. And put some macchiati in it. 
International Delight. Y'all need to stop playing with me and just sponsor me. Stop playing. Stop playing with me, International Delight. Stop playing with me. Let's create a flavor together. Because, you know what I'm saying? And I have my Garandelli Caramel. I'm just going to put some in the coffee itself. Just a little bit and stir it in. I love caramel flavor with coffee. Come back. Come back to life. I love caramel coffee and flavored coffee and I like chocolate chocolate coffee it's gonna burn my tongue I know it it smells so good This, this is delicious. This is the real deal. If you're gonna do instant coffee, this what you do right here, okay? This what you do right here if you're gonna do instant coffee. See Nescafe, this is usually what I do. But girl. I think I have a winner here. This is absolutely delicious. Just trying to put y'all on. And I said I was going to share this with my husband. I don't think I will. I think I'm going to keep this cup. Come back. I think I'm going to keep this cup to myself. And you know I don't like my sweet sweet. It'll don't burn your tongue. It's so smooth. $6.95 at Dollar General. This is where I found it. I've never even looked for this. But when I saw it at Dollar General today, I didn't care how much it cost. She was getting it. I'm going to see y'all in a few minutes. This is the coffee bar. I'm starting to like take some stuff off of it. Take all this Valentine's Day stuff so I can do my Easter theme coffee bar. It's 8.44 p.m. I just took uh, some pain medicine. Um my tooth just to make sure to keep the edge off uh it's it's been doing pretty good i've been brushing gargling i've been oil pulling and just trying to make sure that the inside of the tooth stays clean i'm still uh completing my antibiotics so i'm very happy about that i uh, just watching my girl life with sarah she just uploaded and uh sarah i hope you feel better I've been kind of feeling like you lately, uninspired. You know, cause I, I don't want to get on YouTube trying to be someone I'm not, trying to live a life that that's not my life and all that, and put on, you know, airs and facades and stuff. I I, I don't want I want to be Talia. I don't want to veer away from doing other things that's not true to Talia. And um, that's why I haven't been putting out reels. I have tons of things to record and ideas for reels and stuff i just things have been just so busy and i'm just like i don't know i'm just trying to just see what's next and you know, let god lead me in the right path but i just get so tired sometimes of the rat race of social media you know trying to you know get views and trying to get people to watch you and catch on to what you're doing and you know i'm just kind of sick of it it takes the joy out of you know what what you're here for and what i'm here for is you know cooking showing you you know my passion which is cooking i absolutely love cooking it brings me joy but like i just feel like everything is a competition on the internet and i'm just kind of sick of that you know and then one day you're hot, the next day you're not. And people, you know, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. It, it's a lot of rejection, if you will. But Sarah, I said that to say, because I just went off on my own little rant. I said that to say, I love you and the fam and the kids. And I hope you feel better. And I'm here, sis. I am here. Okay, I'm here. Let me get back to getting this Easter decoration because... I'm doing it right now while it's uh, nighttime because I have to work tomorrow. 
and uh, I'm not gonna have time I'm not gonna have time and I decided not to cook because I was gonna fry some fish I'm not I don't feel like smelling no fish I don't feel like smelling no fish up in here I don't feel like dealing with no grease on everybody ate you know everybody's good and if they're not they can fix a sandwich and that's just that on that on knickknack patty way I'm tired of cooking yeah I love to cook but you know sometimes I get tired and like today I just wanted to chill relax vlog and things like that so let me get this coffee bar undecorated and redecorated cuz yeah I be wanting to post coffee content but I still got Valentine stuff up so let me find my decoration and I'm gonna show y'all when I'm done what I what I've done to it here it is. so the coffee bar is done let me show y'all how it looks what I did I think she cute I don't do regular, boring, neutral colors and all that. That's great if you do all that. I like color. I like to decorate. I like uh, a pop of color. And again, you don't have to spend a lot of money doing it. So it makes me happy. So that's all that matters, sis. Period. I also decorated in the dining room. Let me show y'all that quickly. Because it is after 10 o'clock at night. I am tired. I got to get this makeup off my face and get myself together. But let me show give y'all a quick peek at what I, I did to the dining area because the coffee bar and the dining area is the only thing I'm decorating for spring slash Easter. So let me show y'all. That's it y'all. That's the new chairs. Those are little eggs I got from Dollar Tree. Little bunny banner and stuff. I had this since I had this last year. Those are just some um posters really heavy marble posters and I have my Easter runner from last year and that's all I did I was trying to uh, light my uh, fairy lights but um, they're broken or something so I have to order some more and put because I like to keep that little plant lit with fairy lights it looks really pretty at night but that's it y'all that's it I didn't give y'all no cooking or nothing today because I was just ripping and running. I really just wanted to relax today per se, but uh, let's see what tomorrow brings. Uh, yeah, and I think I might put my nails on tomorrow. But tomorrow is Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, I might go ahead on and put my nails on. All right, y'all, that's it. Good night. I'll see y'all later. And let's see what tomorrow brings. Here it is. It's Wednesday, February 28th. It's 6.56 p.m. And I'm cooking dinner. I wanted to make spaghetti, but then I was like, I don't really, I have a lot of seafood. I have a lot of pasta. And so right now I'm sauteing some shrimp. I'm about to take the shrimp out because I don't want them to get, um. I don't want them to get rubbery. So they have a nice sear on them. That's all we need and they're coming out. All them brown bits that's down in the bottom of the pan, we want all of that. That's the good stuff. We want all of that, all of that. And the pasta I'm cooking at until it's al dente. Mm-hmm. It's done. Some garlic in. I put my sun-dried tomatoes in and we're gonna start this sauce. I don't wanna have just empty footage going, like all of this rambling. So as soon as I get to the next level, I'll come back on and show y'all what good sit's doing, okay? Period. I've added the heavy whipping cream, the shrimp, the broccoli, and the cheese. This it right here. And I'm just adding pasta. The pasta straight out of the pasta water into it. I'm actually gonna put some more, put a little pasta water in the cheese sauce because um, it's a little thick, a little too thick for my liking. And yeah, I'm gonna also reseason. So this is just onion, garlic, shrimp, broccoli, not a lot of broccoli, just like some florets, um, sun-dried tomatoes, 
and I use cheddar jack cheese. I thought I had Parmesan cheese, but I didn't. And I'm going to finish this off with a little uh, Dash No Salt Seasoning, the um, Costco brand, and uh, a little black pepper. I'm going to use the organic No Salt Seasoning. Uh, it smells so good. From Costco. Because I want that herby, flavorful taste. I have coarse black pepper. So this is dinner. I put a little bit too much parsley, <laughs> but that's it, y'all. And all I have to do is just uh, stir everything up and incorporate, and then we can eat. I'm still gonna fry that fish because if I don't fry that fish, it's gonna go bad. And uh, honey, we ain't wasting no food. Mm -mm. We ain't the food too damn expensive. So y'all, there's there's only one thing left to do, and that's to taste it. So, hmm? you want to taste? Mm -hmm. Do I need to season it again? Mm -hmm. It's good? Mm -hmm. She's good just like that. Y'all see? The hubby says it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> it's good y'all let me feed the fam and my battery is about to die y'all this dinner alright y'all that's all I got for y'all we grubbing out I appreciate y'all clicking on as usual please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next vlog bye guys bye guys